So I've seen a little bit of this video and let me tell you it was absolutely hilarious but most importantly I really do believe that all my kings that are watching that are, that are choosing to watch this video can learn something from it like the video if you're ready to learn something tonight fellers we're gonna get into the story because apparently the video is about she thought divorce was a good idea until she had to pay him child support uh oh roll it yeah you really about to pay today because you know Medicaid has to be reimbursed to the state, right? Not it. Well, you just that. found out something today. I'm so glad Jesus that you Christ. are ready to learn something because you mm -hmm. are about no. to learn today, okay? Child oh, support God. is $1,096. Plus, we need to reimburse that Medicaid, like I told you. Ooh. So, we take that $5,400, do 9% of that. That comes out to $486. $486 plus the $1,096 that bring your child support obligation to $1,582 per month. Oh, that's a lot of money. Oof. Uh, can a brother get like two pennies or something like that? Like, damn. So Shorty, Shotty gotta pay uh, to his ex uh, for child support. Damn, that's crazy. Shout out to that queen, uh, the judge I'm talking about. Shout out to the judge, man. Honestly. I'm sorry, you said $1,000. $1,000. $1,582. Bro, the Anything camera yet? work. <laughs> With two kids. <laughs> this video is going viral right now of this woman who said she did not want to be a responsible oh parent, my so God. she gave up her kids, and now she's having to pay her old husband child support. That's all. Okay, so in November, I decided I no longer wanted to be a responsible parent, and I gave up my kids. <laughs> I mean, you gotta admit that, like, she there's was a honest, part huh? of me that admires the honesty. Yeah, she was honest. She was honest. At least you know, she was like, honest. you just immediately fucking, she just comes out. But, but uh, one thing that I really want to know, what did the guy do, uh, right? Because, like, as a man, like, I want to be able to set up, like, parameters uh, in places. Like, I want to make sure, like, you know, like, nothing like that ever happens to me. Like, and if something like that happens to me, like, I'm the one getting child support money. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Like, listen, guys, come on now, bro. Like, money does not grow on trees. Like, why why is it always the guy that has to, like, pay child support, right? Like, come on, dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I want to know how. says it. What did the guy do I was just tired of being responsible and caring for them. I yeah. felt like I was too young and I wanted to go out there and experience life. And I started dating someone right. else, so it just didn't fit with my new lifestyle. Yeah, so get rid and of it. So. <laughs> Bumbo God. Yeah, she really said that. I'm young and I just want to go out and explore. I didn't have anything to worry about because the other parent is a Bro, you know who I feel bad for? That new guy. Sadly. Possible parent. But now I'm here because now I'm in child support. And to top it off, I'm really pissed mm -hmm. off that I took care of him all the way up to November. And I couldn't claim him on my taxes because the other parent had already claimed him. Yeah. All I can say is what has this world come to, man? This woman... Oh, no, this... no. I mean, there's been parents that have been, like, throwing their kids away forever, right? Oh. Parents have been doing this for a long time. It's really not that crazy that somebody is acting this way. Yeah, no, I put him in the basket. Somebody said my mom in the in the chat. Damn. Yo, guys, like the video if you love your mama, man. Yeah, very my mom lowers that, bro. Like the, like the video if you love your mama, man. Because, like, today's moms or today's the upcoming moms, man, or moms to be, man, they not, bruh. Like, I swear to God, bruh. It's getting real, real hard right now. To yeah, find, like, like, you remember Moses, one. right? And there's, like, a lot of stories from this. For sure. But, like... But like, you don't make a TikTok about that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you don't go and post this on the internet, though. Self like, snitching, huh? Self snitching, self snitching. Mother That's what is it's mad that she has to pay child support because she abandoned her kids because they didn't fit well, yeah. her lifestyle. Like, could you imagine being so entitled, so evil to just think that you can just throw away your kids? Crazy. Think, yeah, yeah people know? do this. Yeah, for sure, people do. People used to sell their kids. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's it's really not. It. See, I think this dude, this dude spent too much time in air conditioning, and you got to remember that. And also eating like processed food. I, I get it, but like, damn, homie. But but still, like, understand his feelings, though. You feel what I'm saying, like, damn, bro. The world was not always like the way it is now, and like 200 years ago, people were selling their kids. That that is true. That is true. But 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 like I, I feel like that her making a TikTok is uh you know what I'm saying like nobody expected that actually. She says that she's young and she wanna go exploring. 
Like, what what kind of exploring are we talking about, right? And, and I want to know, like, what the man did initially to get uh, her to pay him child support. I guess, like, she actually ran away from responsibility. <laughs> I mean, that, that's what she said. I guess self-snitching, self-snitching. Yeah, that's what it is. You really think that people will change that much in 200 years? Well, the club lifestyle or this, you I'll know, take, lavish lifestyle Somebody is said, better yeah. than the greatest thing on earth, which is... I'm glad to see women getting the equality they asked for. <laughs> You <laughs> wanted to give up your kids just to live a club lifestyle. Now you have to pay child support. It's the only time. <laughs> Who is this guy? The modern king. Having a boyfriend is worth it. Is when? Is when he is able to fully support you and pay all your bills. I said it. I said it. Yeah, you said it. But wouldn't it just be so much easier to admit that one is broke and can't actually handle being an adult and paying one's own bills? No, I think that's totally fine. She's right. She's right. That's totally fine. You want to have a traditional marriage and you want to be a, a stay-at-home wife and have kids? It's totally fine. It's a good thing. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with what she's saying. Your husband, yeah. if you're going to be a girlfriend to someone, he needs to be paying all, all, all your bills. Otherwise, why is he there? Uh -huh. What is his purpose? Well, I could think of several reasons, actually, no. but what do I know? He's not. He's just 50 50, man. Equal rights, equal pay, uh, and equal fights. Equal rights, equal fights. Equal right, equal fights. And in this situation, e e I mean, like, gotta equal rights, then you know, 50 50, man. We gotta, like, we gotta 50 50, man. We gotta 50 50, man. We gotta 50 50. Unless we exclusive, though, then okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? But, like, just a boyfriend. Meaning, if he leaves mm -hmm. you, and a boyfriend is not a legal title. Congratulations for That's figuring true. that part out. If he leaves you and promises you marriage, leaves you with nothing, you get nothing. At least they understand the basics. But I have a feeling I know what happened to her in the past. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a pretty good feeling about what I think might have happened. If he's paying all your bills, you're able to save money, you're able to invest into uh -huh. businesses that you want to do. If he leaves you, you're leaving with something else at the end of it. Another example of a strong, independent woman who can stand on their own two feet. Mm. Not at all a gold digger. But to date a guy... No, she isn't a gold digger. Uh, like, if, if you want to be a traditional wife, that doesn't make you a gold digger. Absolutely not. No, oh, that, that's true. That, that absolutely is true. But, but see, like, she, she is demanding boyfriends are only worth... She is saying boyfriends are only worth it if he's paying bills. Like, damn, homie. Now, I, I do agree, though. Like, stay-at-home mom, traditional mom, right? Traditional uh, wife. Like, yeah, absolutely. All for it. W there, right there. W right there. But, but like saying like boyfriends are only worth it if he's paying bills i mean like damn homie like damn man what are we talking though you know like it's just the wording i guess it's just the wording not no that's the way that they've been like we've done things that way for like uh, hundreds of years thousands of years like that's just the way the world works and the reason the world works that way is because women can't do a lot of things whenever they have, uh, whenever they're pregnant. They're taking care of kids. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. So that's like true. that's the way that like it works that way because of biology. No, I, I, absolutely. Like, amen. Like, I, I do agree. I do agree on that part. But it's like the way she's saying it. Like, boyfriends are only worth it if he's paying bills. Though, I mean, damn. I mean, damn, homie. Damn. Like, we're not even talking about like. Uh, getting to the point of hey having a family together when yeah it's a, when you have a family right uh, and married and all that and if she don't want to work she want to stay and be at home uh, stay at home mom yeah then yeah understandable understandable like he gotta pay the bills but to say that uh the bfs are only worth it if he's paying bills we're not even talking about like hubby's uh husbands and wives right now you know what i'm saying like we're not even talking about that we're way past we're way, like this is in the early stages though and it's always worked that way right i mean let's oh, fuck. Oh, just a sec Hello? Go ahead. Okay, I just checked Google just to make sure. People were selling their kids in 1948. Ooh, they almost got you. No shit. I, uh, luckily, I was, I was uh, only one year old then. If I had been five, I think they would have, well, my grandfather would have bought me. Yeah. And uh, so I, I, I would have gone to, I would have been. Yeah, yeah. This is, yeah. But that's that's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, parents, uh, mm -hmm. with the wiki. It's a wiki entry. Yeah. And uh, it's a, it's a truby. No shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me just skip that call. Okay, I feel like it's six forty. Working on farms. Was this here and uh, commonplace back in the day? Yeah, absolutely.
Bro and having a, someone's girl he was having a GTA like cutscene there. Friend for free, mm -hmm. for free. Is it just me or is some women completely lost when it comes to actually understanding what the concept of dating is? Being someone's girlfriend is not worth it. Okay, no, 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 no. If you're gonna be a girlfriend, he needs to be paying a bill or two. Yep. These bills are due. You, I'm not usually anyone's girlfriends, but I'll make that exception for you mm -hmm. if you're willing to pay some bills. If you're willing to pay a bill or two. I can okay. Oh yeah, a bill or two. Oh, that's fine though. Let's say yeah, but but you also gotta like a pay a bill or two or something like that. Right? If you're paying a bill or two, I'm paying a bill or two. Yeah, that's fine. But I, I guess it's the word. It's the captions. It's the captions. But otherwise, like yeah. Imagine all the men running to that woman's profile to take advantage of that situation. Right. If her 50, advice 50. was actually good, she wouldn't be single crying on social media because men won't pay her bills. Who does this channel, bro? <laughs> That's my Nigerian prince. Or maybe Bumble Cloud, Jamaican Bumble Cloud, Fat Pom Pom Bumble Cloud, brother. That's my Fat Pom Pom Bumble Cloud, brother. Bati Boy, Fat Pom Pom Bumble Cloud. Maybe that was my Jamaican king. To get child support, yes, yes ma'am. And the child has been living with him for almost. It's a boy or girl. Boy. His whole life. Yes, ma'am. Well, when I get my baby back, I want child support. Yeah, he makes way more money than I do. I want my baby back, and I want child support. I'm sorry, you have to excuse me because nothing you're saying is making sense right now. You came to court to ask me to give a child back to you that was taken from you. That's five years old. That's pretty much lived with this man the entire time that he has been they took, taken care of. They took, they took, taken care of. They took my baby away because my ex-boyfriend is an abuser and I'm not with him anymore. So I want my baby back. Right. But the child hasn't been living with you. The child has been living with him. Yeah, because of my ex. And I'm not with my ex anymore. Uh, yeah, so no. Bruh. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't Bruh. work like that. He would literally have to... It's crazy how I listen to some of the logic that these girls have. And it's like, I guarantee you this worked in sixth grade. <laughs> I bet for a fact. Like, this is... Like, they add, like, sixth graders, man. Like, it's nuts. Negative IQ points. I'm yeah. giving you the child back. And then you come in here and you, after you've been having Five the child years for some after, time, huh? then you come in here and say, Judge, I want this to be changed. I've been having the child this entire time. I want him to pay <laughs> child support. That would be a little bit more reasonable. But what you're asking for today is very unreasonable. Okay, well, give me my baby back and then I'll come back in a while and ask for child support. Well, I can't. At least she was honest. At least she was uh, telling her about her game plans. That's called self snitch, self snitching right there. Well, her game plan got exposed. <laughs> because I never took your baby. Okay. Oh my god. Actually, nobody really took your baby. You lost your baby for for your own negligence, negligence. with your ex boy. Because she wanted her holes to be explored with someone else, and that because of that, like you know what I'm saying, right? Like because of that, W judge, W judge, go queen. Jesus that has Christ. To do with me. Okay, now, fill me in over card. here. The baby was placed with you after the boyfriend hit the baby. Yep. And he's been living yep. with you ever since then. Yep. You've been taking care yep. of him. Mm -hmm. You paid mm -hmm. for everything for the child. Everything. What does she do? Uh, Nothing. I visit. She, she visits unsupervised. Okay, congratulations. <laughs> Finance. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's, it's over. It's uh, over. Oh, financially? Yeah. Hmm. Nothing. Because, <laughs> hmm. Oh, that's what I figured. Okay. I yeah. see what's going on here. Yeah, and I'm not about to play this game with you. Mm -hmm. You're the one that's going to pay him child support today. What? Yeah, you are. He makes like three times as much money as I do. I have to give him my money? Too bad. Um, it's for the child, so yes, you do. Man. Bumble oh God. This is why I'm saying, like, sometimes, bro, like, she would have been better off had it been, like, she never initiated this in the first place, though. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that's a... Yeah, man, W judge though, W judge. Yeah, I mean, that sucks. When, when your baby daddy appeals his uh, increase in child support and you start to feel bad about it, like maybe he can't afford it, but then he buys a new car, so now you don't have to feel guilty anymore. Wait, what? Cool. That's For some too reason, bad, bro. Like, that's just too bad. Support. 
So as a baby mama, I'm here to say that child support is only for absent fathers. Not because you guys broke up. He's a complete Debbie. Yeah, go for it. If you know that he takes care of his kid, gets them when he's supposed to, you're just a bit. I'm go here queen. to say one more thing. Go I okay. just had to drag my AC out of my car to my apartment building. Three guys passed me. None of them offered to help. None. None. Zero. Why would they? They don't even know you. And matter of fact, if somebody tried to help you, like, how many times do you see, like, these uh, Twitch horses or these e-girl horses online that would just put the guy on blast and be like, okay, that guy was being creepy, this and that, all sort of stuff, right? Like, how many times have you seen those videos? So, of course, nobody, like, nobody would want to help you. Yeah, come on, man. I, I, I wish somebody did. Like, if somebody wanted to, like, and they wanted to be generous, yeah, absolutely. But, I mean, listen, man. They probably knew you would put them, you would, uh, they, they probably thought that you would put them on the internet and tag them with like the creepy guy uh, stuff, yeah? Four out of three. Or to put it another way, they did exactly what women have been asking men to do for years now. They ignored you. I don't, so here's the thing, right? Like, this is some other bullshit. I'm not going to get into this. Um, but uh -oh. I feel like this doesn't happen. Am I crazy? There's a video. I don't think this happens, man. Yeah, I, I mean, it. it's like it does ha like I It does happen, it does go off your horse, maybe. <laughs> it's rage bait. Is this all American women or just uh, memes? Uh, or just a uh, meme seems rough? I, I, I guess like, gr like where Info I'm at, channel? like people always hold the door for you. If you're trying to do something, somebody will offer to help you. Yeah, it's extremely yeah, yeah. common. Like yeah, yeah. I, I don't know what the uh, what the uh, offering. Yeah, offering the door. That's like different. But like she she was talking about the AC, right? Like yeah. I, I mean, sure. Like some dudes would help, but I mean, like maybe that was not your day, Buttercups. Maybe problem that's with that is at all. Yeah, not wrong. Yeah, I, I think it's in some places it's like this. But yeah, I, I see like America? there's a lot of these. Uh, I think that there's like a really big problem that like we have right now with like a uh, you know society you could society, say society society is yeah. that there's like two different lifestyles people want to live where like some people want to have like a traditional lifestyle and other people want to have a you know like normal uh you, you know like 21st century relationship where like both people work and like it's 50-50 and so the problem, I think, comes whenever people try to get the other person to act the way that they want them to, right? And so it's like, well, my way is better, so you're going to have to do it my way and not your way. I think that's really what's harmful and that's what's dangerous, right? Respect is not conservative. Yeah, exactly. And so because I think that both ways of doing things are valid. That they valid. are, they're valid, but um, man puts like doctor disrespect, uh, disrespect emoji. Username is Asman Doc. Oh my god, guys, this recently happened. We got a new update on the doctor disrespect story. I guess this is gonna be a perfect segue. Yeah, new update came out. We got the sketch situation, Sneeko situation. All of that is in this video. New drama. We got a new update. Check this video out. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left.